I'm Max from Venezuela, and I teach piano. I don't really know, per se, like exact date or anything, or exact year, but I mean, I've been playing piano since I was seven. 23, so that makes me, that makes it almost 16 years. So around the time, around seven to, seven to 16 years, I guess, like, as I got better at piano, I kind of like figured out that like, I really like playing music and stuff like that. And then, um, I think, I think my mom really inspires me in, in a sense, because like, she would play like, uh, she would play Chopin's um, Fantasy Impromptu and then like, always complain like how like, she's not very good, but then I'm just all like, you're really good mom. Like, um, and then that inspired me to like, actually like, actually practice and, and get better and stuff like that, so. That's a tough one. I'm like going through like different things I want to do. Like I've been teaching, I've been teaching here for five years, but then I also like am studying sociology at, at, in university. So, but then I also want to pursue journalism. But then the more I stay here, it's like I want to start, I want to teach. But then I don't know if I want to keep teaching music. So the aspect of, of, me, under, of me knowing like if I, would, if I want to pursue music I don't know, music ed or, or performance, or do I want to actually go through like another full-time job like in the office or journalism, so. Um, I don't know, maybe, it'll most likely stick. I won't probably like pursue it as much as I am now, so yeah. Teaching music, you have to learn how to adapt uh, a certain lifestyle so like you have to adapt like a five-year-old's way of teaching but then you have to also adapt to like an adult student that's like in their mid-30s like wanting to learn piano so understanding like how to teach a five-year-old how to play piano like like to an adult student just going straight into chords or what a, what a chord is so um, adaptability because in music you're always adapting to different types of genres of music, performing different genres of music, um, and then also the other aspect of teaching music, the ability to have patience, because like, it's, it gets kind of, it kind of tests your patience because you're just all like, why don't you know your notes yet? But then at the same time, you're just all like, well, it's still a language, like you're still trying to um, practice and process it. So having good patience as, as a music teacher is really important. Um, so I guess the, the shy kids are the ones that I least connect with, but I'm not sure who the, the ones that I most connect with because they're like all different types of, of ways that I can really connect with a student. Like if I connect with them, well like my 10 year olds like to talk about their day so much. Like I like to talk about my day and they like to talk about our day and then 15 minutes into the lesson like is wasted because we talk about our day. But then like we have my my most advanced students where like I could really dive deep into like classical music or, or or a little bit of jazz, but classical music or just music in general. I can really like have my own teaching style here, but then I have my like most social aspects here with my five-year-olds and then with my most advanced I can be like how I want to teach versus how I want to socialize type of thing. My opinion is sometimes when the students, when my students like, they make music for me. Like, I, my student, uh, my, stu my student not too long ago was like, Mr. Max, I made something for you. And then it was, it was literally like just. It was just literally just repeated chords and then all, and I'm just like, oh, this sounds really nice. I'm like jokingly saying it's nice, but at the same time it's like, it's really nice for them to actually know that like they really like their, they really love their teacher by like expressing them through music because if they express it through music instead of just like an object then it shows that like that like my work is really like really impacting their life and stuff yeah all the shameless plugs the shameless be like plugs. yep uh i mean i don't have a lot to 
plug in, but here's my Instagram. You can plug it in right there. But <laughs> um, I do photography uh, on the side, more like. Uh, I am doing a lot of photography for my Filipino club at Sac State. So uh, a lot of photography is on there about the Filipino club. And then um, if you want to check out the Flickr. So I, I post all the, uh, I, I do all the, um, or most of the recital pictures. So if you see the recital pictures, that's I, I take those pictures. So still getting better at those, but um, those are really nice. So I, I've taken 